Hi there, I'm Dwayne Gleason, Product Manager for Trimble Buildings, and today I want to welcome you to the third part of our video series on the Document Controller product. Today we're going to build upon the last video by expanding the data set a little bit more and adding versions and tags. Both versions and tags are very important for sorting and grouping all of your construction information within the document register. You'll see how tags can be used to add metadata or really any information at all that you want to each and every document and how that tag information can then be used to quickly sort and filter the document register. Let's check it out. To begin, we'll open up the file from last time and we'll navigate to the document register. We want to import another set of drawings, so we're going to expand the architectural subfolder and choose Add Version again. Here, we want to put some information about the release, such as the 75% schematic design, and also some information about when they were released. Choose Select Files and navigate to the folder that contains the 75% schematic design. Hitting OK, we'll import the drawings into the database and we'll start to use the color-coded system to show release drawings, unreleased drawings, and changes. To finish this part of the data set, I'm going to add the 100% for construction drawings. Once I've added the appropriate information about the drawing release, I can choose Select Files, and again I want to navigate to the folder that includes all of my four construction drawings. Shift clicking allows me to multi-select them, and choosing OK brings them into the project database. Now we've got a full visual drawing registry of three design releases for all of the architectural documents. After this, we can start to expand the MEP drawing folder by adding the different design releases for that set. Again, choose Add Files and see that the versions that we created for the architectural drawings are already here. Navigate to the proper folder for your MEP drawings and find the drawings that you want to bring in. Clicking OK imports them into the document register uses the red and green color coding system to show you when something has changed. Let's complete the MEP data set by adding the 100% for construction drawings into the document register. Now we'll have a full repository of all three design releases for our architectural and plumbing drawings in one place. If I want to check any drawing from any release, I can just click on it within the register and choose View Document. With this many drawings inside of one project, I'll probably want to add some additional information to the drawings, called metadata. We can do that through the Edit Tags functionality. Tags are a way to include any user-defined information into the project. Here, I want to add a couple of tags for drawing location, drawing typical location since this is a repetitive building, and drawing type such as a floor plan or an elevation. Once I've created the tags, it's important to associate them with the documents through this little blue button here next to each tag. I can also start to add in some of the values that I already know. Don't worry if you don't know all of the tag data to begin with, as you can always input tag information on the fly inside of the document register, as long as you've created the categories here in the tag editor. Put in as much information or metadata into the tag editor as you know, remembering that tags are a very handy way to sort and group the data set inside of the document register. Once we've put in the known tag values, we can return to the document register by using the View Set Fly Up button down here in the lower left hand corner. Once the register opens up, we can see a column for all of the tag categories that were just added. 
Columns can be displayed or hidden by the user by right-clicking in the upper band and choosing Column Selector. Here, I'll turn off the Type column to give me some more space. To begin inputting the tag information, I navigate to the drawings and I look at their title box. The title block always contains the most important information about the drawing, including what location it's for. A trick that I've found for making this process efficient is to right click on the next drawing inside of the document register row, choose view, and then use the zoom window command to go right to the lower right hand corner of the drawing that includes the information that I want to add. I'll do the same thing for the architectural drawings now. Moving on, I want to do the same thing for the drawing type so that I can quickly sort and group by floor plan, elevation, section, and the like. I'm doing the same thing for my MEP drawing so I could also filter and sort just by floor or typical location and see both the architectural and the plumbing floor plans all at once. Don't worry if you make any mistakes during tag entry as you can always go back into the editor and remove any unwanted tags. With all my tag values in place, I can now move around the document register much more quickly. As an example, I'll expand the architectural drawings and I'll run a filter for just the first floor location. When doing so, notice that the list abbreviates to only show me the associated drawings in both the architectural and the MEP folder. To make a more advanced filter, I can use the column selector to bring back my type column. The filter icon in the upper right corner of the header, choose custom, and I'm going to add a unique query. In this case, I want to filter down the list to show me only the west elevation drawings on the project. I enter that here in the filter editor. When I hit OK, here's the drawings that I want to see, and I can right click on any release version and choose view to see just that drawing. So that's it. That's how you expand your document register content to include multiple drawing versions and metadata about the drawings. Stay tuned for our next video to learn more. So that concludes part three of our video series on Document Controller, where we learned how to expand the data set more by creating versions and tags. We learned how to create tags inside of the tag editor and then how to go through and apply them within the document register. After that, we saw how we were able to group, sort, and filter down a large document register based on different tag information, including dynamic and compound fields. Join us next time in our video where we'll be looking at how to add 3D models into the document register. Catch you later.